My name is Anna, I'm a university student and I'm an intern at Wolfram Math Corps. I did my undergraduate degree in biomedicine at the University of Melbourne, then I did a research year and now I'm studying a, a graduate diploma in applied mathematics. Uh, we never really got to do much biological modelling in my undergraduate degree, um, but in my research year I started becoming really fascinated with modelling, I think it's such a powerful tool. Um, and I think that's really what drove me to study mathematics. Uh, before doing the internship, I didn't really have much experience in modelling um, and I'd done some basic equation modelling before, but I, I still consider myself quite new to the modelling. I found the internship whilst looking at the Wolfram website. I use Wolfram Alpha quite a lot at university and just so happened that one day I was looking at the careers page and I saw an internship opening for life science modelling. And after reading the description, uh, it sounded exactly like what I wanted to do. Um, I was also really interested in having the opportunity to travel to Sweden. I think having different experiences in different countries and different workplaces is important for someone who studies science. Uh, my first steps in system modeler were to go through all the introductory videos and courses. Uh, after I felt comfortable with the basic functions of system modeler, I went through a lot of the examples that come with the system modeler package. And by going through all of these, I was able to get a good um, understanding of how the models were constructed. And then from this point, I was actually able to build my own simple models and build upon them to make more complex models. Uh, my task through the internship was to create models uh, which could teach biology concepts to high school students. And I remember from my high school days that there was this really interesting example of how malaria um, actually affected the prevalence of sickle cell anemia in populations. So the theory is that carriers of sickle cell anemia are actually more resistant to contracting malaria. Um, and that means uh, environments where malaria is endemic, they actually um, have an advantage and they're selected for. Um, so there's actually a measurable increase in the number of people who are sickle cell carriers in malaria endemic populations uh, compared to non-malaria endemic populations. And this example actually became the first example that I was able to model in System Modeler. Uh, by the end of the internship, I had developed numerous models and examples which could explain biology concepts to high school students. Um, I was also able to put these models into Mathematica and develop assignment questions and lots of different interactive graphs. I also created my own library, uh, which uh, made of cusp components in System Modeler which can be used to make future population models. I think that system modeler would be a really valuable tool for students to have, um, especially students who don't have a strong mathematics background. I think the user interface was really, e was really easy to use and didn't take me long at all to start learning how to use. System modeler also allowed me to create a variety of models in a variety of different fields of biology. So I think that learning the program would be extremely valuable for students who want to model across a lot of different fields in science and also explore what they can do with modeling in their field of science.